So what's in the bag or what brand am I loyal to? Well, I'll tell you what, the number one brand I'm loyal to is the U.S. flag. That's the brand. I know Obama is not loyal to that brand, but I am. You know, I have a little mixture of clubs. Uh, it's true my son works at corporate at a Kushnet, but I only have three Titleist wedges. I'm a mostly a ping guy because I, I need something that might be easy to hit. Uh, I got Big Bertha driver. I've got some old TaylorMade and some Cobras. And hugely important, hugely important. As far as golf balls, I like to hit N uh, Titleist NXT. So, you know, as far as clubs go, I, I'm not as good, I'm not that good to play with any of the 12 sets of clubs that Dave Swart owns. So I, I pretty much stay loyal for a couple of years on that. Now, there are some things you need to know when you're out here playing. There's a lot of stuff that goes on. And one thing I don't like to play with is people who are dull and boring. And we have a few of those people here in the room tonight. Uh, and I have not played with many of them, but you know, a couple of things you need to know. We're constantly under a threat of an EMP attack in the US. So what happens? Well, what that does is it just knocks out all the electricity, nothing will function. Everybody should have, seriously, a hand crank and then fire it up. And now, I can listen to Radio Lubiana. So if everything is knocked out in the US, I can pick up, well, Montreal's gonna be affected, but I can pick up Lubiana, uh, Herzegovina, all those great uh, countries and cities over in Eastern Europe. So always have a shortwave radio that you can hand crank and not have to rely on batteries or any electric form. Uh, one time I was attacked by fire ants and I will never forget the day I was kneeling down uh, by, uh, by a green, lining up a putt and this incredible sensation of a stinging was going on uh, right by my right knee. And I was really pissed and it turns out I was at the beginning of a fire ant hill. So I got pissed and it stung for the rest of the day and I said I will get my revenge. Well, I've decided to make a lifelong commitment to taking out fire ant hills. So I do bring my own, um, well, some people will call it Andro. This ortho makes a great, great product. It's, it's ortho, it's got orthene in it, it's deadly. It's a little powder for him, you shake it around. I try to help Corey out. Corey, you're welcome. I'm gonna take care of that. Uh, <clears throat> All right, speaking of RW, you ever notice that he packs his mini buffet in all these beautiful Ziploc containers in his bag? He's got sandwiches, he's got turkey leftovers, and it's not even Thanksgiving. He's got ham and cheese. I don't know if it, every now and then I will bring a surprise for him. And so uh, my next trip out, he loves Spam. And particularly, he's not like into turkey flavored Spam, but I think to be safer on the sodium side, he needs to go with Spam Light. So I'll keep a can of that and you know, we'll just pull over somewhere around, oh, maybe around the 13th or 14th tee box and just slice it up for the guys. I almost forgot. One of our, this is the holidays time of the year. And one of the things that RW likes to have is sardines. And these actually happen to be wild caught from the Crown Prince brand. They're all natural. Uh, they roasted off most of the hairs and it's a great source of omega-3. RW loves the sardines Sometimes he'll alternate that with a spam. But again, if it's in your bag and you know you have food, he's taking it with the paint thinner. I'm Don Zabkar. I play the MGA, and that's what's in my bag. <laughs>